Liv, welcome back to my channel. I took a little bit of a break because I was a little busy with my dog. She got surgery, but she is all healed now. And I also took a little break because I was preparing for all of the August content that I have for you guys. So starting in about a week, a little over a week, I'm going to be doing a ton of back to school stuff because I know a lot of you guys love kind of like packed lunch ideas and college budget friendly recipes and stuff like that. So I have tons of that coming your way. But today, since it is the last day of July and it's basically the middle of the summer here, I wanted to do one of my favorite summer desserts. So today we are going to be making a mixed berry cobbler. This recipe is so delicious delicious but it's also so easy to make so I'm really really excited for you guys to try this recipe and that is everything I have to say for now so let's get into it So for this recipe, you can use frozen or fresh berries. I decided to use frozen because that's what I had and it's quite a bit cheaper. So if you're using fresh, you can skip this step. But for frozen berries, you want to just put them in a strainer and rinse them under cold water until the water runs clear. Then you can add them to a bowl and add your lemon juice, cinnamon, and brown sugar and just stir that all to get it all coated. In a separate bowl, we are going to combine the flour, baking powder, and sugar, and just stir or whisk that until it's combined. And then you can add in your non-dairy milk and stir it until it forms a dough. Then you're going to place the berry mixture into a baking dish. And then you're just going to drop tiny little amounts of vegan butter all over the berries. So I just use my fingers and a fork to just drop kind of like pea size um, clumps of butter on top. Then you can take little clumps of the dough again with your hands or with a spoon and drop them all over the top of the cobbler. You can do bigger clumps if you like but I just find it easier to serve if you do little ones like this because then you don't have to kind of try and break them up with the spoon because that gets a little bit messy. So by doing small clumps it's just easier for serving. Then you just want to bake that in your preheated oven for about 40 minutes or until the top is golden brown. And then you just want to let it cool for a little bit before serving. And I like to serve mine with a scoop of vegan vanilla ice cream. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you make it, I would love if you could take a picture and tag me on Instagram or even leave a review on the recipe on my blog. I absolutely love reading your guys' reviews. It's really helpful for me um, to see if you guys made any substitutions and stuff like that. Stay tuned for the next video because I am making a super delicious cauliflower recipe, but it's really exciting and not boring, so don't worry. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!